Welcome to Equipment Impact Individuals, a series where we talk to inspiring innovators who make a real impact. Today we are going to talk to a company that's redefining waste to value materials in India. And we are speaking with Mr. Yash Sharma, the director of Ganesha Ecosphere Limited. Sir, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, thanks. Uh, so my name is Yash. I am the director at Ganesha Ecopet Private Limited. Uh, we are basically into recycling of post-consumer PT waste in India. And we recycle that into various products like uh, recycled polyester staple fiber, yarns, uh, fabrics, and uh, as well as food grade RPT chips uh, for packaging. What are you showcasing here at PRS India 2025? Uh, so we are basically uh, showcasing all our products which are made entirely from post-consumer waste, uh, you know, which includes our variety of fibers, yarns for different textile applications like uh, garments, apparels, technical textiles, uh, geo textiles, uh, and also as well as our range of food grade uh, recycled PET granules, uh, which are uh, used in uh, packaging uh, applications like beverage packaging, uh, FMCG packaging, etc. How did Ganesha Ecosphere start it? Uh, so Ganesha Ecosphere was actually started by my grandfather uh, back in 1997. Uh, at that time, you know, he recognized that there was a big opportunity of uh, recycling the waste, uh, you know, which was being created by uh, textile and packaging industry in India. And uh, he had for the first time seen this happening in South Korea and he took the decision of importing the technology from there uh, so to start India's first uh, waste recycling venture of recycling the polyester waste back into recycled polyester. What were the initial challenges that you faced? Uh, we've grown a long, uh, for, you know, from that journey when we started. At that time, the biggest challenge was collection of the waste and segregation of the waste into right quality products. Uh, also that the technology was not mature enough to produce very high quality recyclates, you know, to produce high quality recyclates that would go into performance materials in both textiles as well as packaging. Um, so slowly over the years, we have invested a lot in uh, all the uh, you know parts of the value chain like collection, segregation, uh, washing, cleaning, uh, recycling into very high-end performance materials where we started actually getting value for the final product that we were manufacturing from the recyclates. Um, yeah, that's had been a very challenging part. What new innovations or product lines are you showcasing at PRS India or in the coming months and or years? Uh, so today here in PRS, we are actually showcasing uh, two new innovations. So first, uh, uh, two years back, we have launched our range of food grade RPT granules uh, for food food contact packaging applications and beverages and FMCG. So over there we have, we, we are now, uh, you know, we have now advanced the India circular economy mission by establishing a very, very high volume uh, recycling of uh, and produ production of food grade RPT granules in packaging applications. And that's number one. Number two is we have also started now venturing into, um, into value addition of our uh, yarns into finished fabrics and uh, articles. Uh, textile articles made out of recycled polyester, uh, which you know we have started very recently and uh, and uh, showcasing that as well. Okay, beyond environmental benefits, what social or community impact does your work create? Uh, so I think that our our work actually starts from the social and uh, you know social impact and benefit as well because at the forefront of our industry lies the collection of the post-consumer waste in India. Uh, today, the collection of post-consumer waste in India is actually done by our eco-warriors. Uh, we call them eco-warriors who are actually collecting the post-consumer waste at the first leg, the first mile, uh, and collecting from the various uh, households and various generation points and bringing it to the first level of aggregators who are aggregating the waste. Uh, so today in India, there are almost more than 20 lakh people who are involved in this uh, collection, the first mile collection. Uh, who we call the eco warriors. So it's a huge social impact which which is created uh, because they are collecting the materials for our value chain, which then we uh, start recycling into various uh, you know different end products. After PRS India 2025, uh, what we can expect from you guys, like uh, and from Go Revise. Uh, so we were, we you know as we are committed uh, to to recycling and uh, accelerating the circular economy uh, uh, you know adoption in India, we remain committed to further uh, increasing our capacities, further implementing, further launching new products 
uh, be, be it in textiles, uh, you know, launching very high-end performance materials uh, for both textiles as well as packaging material, packaging applications, which we will keep on doing uh, after the exhibition as well. We will start with the rapid fire round right now. Uh, one word that defines Ganesh Ecosphere Limited. Uh, uh, very uh, circle economy adoption at scale with very high performance materials. Uh, which display or demo are you most excited for visitors to see? Uh, the new the new articles which we have recently launched with recycled materials uh, like our range of uh, apparels, our range of bags. Uh, yeah, that's what I would like to visitors to see. How would you summarize Go Revise vision in one sentence? Uh, we would like to become the India's largest solution providers for uh, adoption of circular economy solutions at scale. Okay. Who is your favorite, entrepreneur or buyers? Uh, and entrepreneurs. Okay. We have recently heard about Ganesha recycling chain. Can you uh, throw some light on it and your association with Race Eco Chain? So yes. So in order to further, uh, you know, uh, stabilize and further set up a very organized collection value chain in India. Uh, we have, uh, you know, entered into a pa partnership with one of our, uh, you know, partner companies, which is uh, Race Eco Chain. So what we have done is, in order to now formalize the collection ecosystem of India, uh, we have uh, established a new entity, which is the Ganesha Recycling Chain, where we uh, tend to bring out the hub and spoke collection and recycling of post-consumer pet waste in India now. Uh, we think that recycling is gonna slowly become much more uh, widespread and uh, you know localized uh, so what we are trying to do is we are trying to set up a hub and spoke collection and recycling of the waste uh, which we are going to do in partnership with uh, uh, race eco chain okay. anything you would like to share for equipment audience uh, i would like to say that uh, uh, it's a great uh, place to be here in the prs show and uh, you should uh, uh, I, I think that uh, circular economy adoption in india is gonna grow uh, very rapidly in the coming years, in the coming 5 to 10 years, we see a very rapid uh, growth in the ad uh, adoption of circular economy uh, practices in India. So I think that they, you should be here at the PRS and witness for yourself the, the acceleration which is happening in this uh, industry. That's all for the day, sir. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. Thank, Thank you, you as well. To all our listeners, follow EQMIN for more innovative stories. Until then, stay tuned, stay driven and keep innovating.